Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Jesse Strader. He's back. I'm back. Hey, guys, check it out. UFC 269. Charles Oliveira. Dustin Poirier. Real quick, I got to show you something that really, really bothered me about that fight. Dustin's defense, or lack thereof, of the omoplata. That thing bothered me. Did it bother you? It bothered me. Guys, I, I, I really do believe Dustin's good. So with all respect to Dustin, he's great. But I feel like it was the worst move of the fight was the omoplata role. And let's talk about it. Let's say you get me in the omoplata. Okay. And then we, we will address um, the... So guys, what's an omoplata? I put my arm here, he puts his leg over, and then, the, the, you know, in a perfect world, he does a sit up right here and he kind of gets up. He brings the legs towards the right, you know, and then he goes up far enough. If he can break me down, it's very ideal. He, he sits up, go ahead, start to get the submission. He can lock your ball tap. There's so many brutal ways to kind of create a shoulder lock, neck crank, there's so much stuff. Now, that's how it's designed, but that's not what we saw. That's not what we saw. What we saw was a guy in the standing position. See, normally in the, in the position here, when a guy comes up to get your waist, he's trying to stop you from rolling and you're still fighting him, like trying not to put your head down. But once your legs start to make a circle, go ahead, put him over there and he gets on his side a little bit. I better get to a roll so that I don't get shoulder locked. And then a lot of times you'll come on top for basics and then boom, you'll get on top. I'll try to recover guard. Sometimes out of the, uh, the omoplata, just sit back down. Uh, out of that rolling omoplata, my leg could be here. And then as you get up, I'll, I'll end up getting the guard. So of course there's fancy counters. Go to a triangle, go to an omoplata for yourself. But that's not, that's not necessary. We don't need that. What we need is to just not get omoplotted and hopefully not get swept. Why? Because after rolling, let's show the position. So he got caught in omoplata. And then, do you remember? Okay, let's address the glove grab. So come over here, guys. I'm not wearing MMA gloves, but Joe Rogan pointed it out that Oliver was grabbing gloves. Now, I saw him adjust his hand a little bit. I kind of leaned towards, I think his fingers were probably in the glove a little bit but it's kind of hard to tell too because it looked like he was in the glove to me and then he kind of popped out because his thumb rolled over, but he just as easy could have been had his fingers full of gloves. So he probably had his fingers in the gloves, but this is not the position. The position was triangle, when triangle, and then this foot was starting to get under the face and Poirier is standing up. Now if you, go ahead Jesse, just hold my wrist real strong. Start to straighten out your legs and create an elbow lock. See that? Can, I don't know if you, you're close enough, you can see my elbow. See, like go ahead, start to apply the force. Yeah, make an elbow line, right there. See, there was a moment when Poirier started to grab the foot and he's pushing this thing off. And then he chose to roll. As he rolls, that's what led Oliveira to get on top. Poirier recovers guard. And then what does he do? He basically tries to triangle his legs and just survive the rest of the round. And took a beat down, got smothered, hands over his face, elbows, pressure, energy wasting, ruined his positioning uh, for in the fight. It, it, it swung the fight. It was the worst move of the fight for Poirier because like in the game of chess, sometimes they'll put markings like this was worst move. You know, the, this was the move that turned the match towards the other guy's favor. And it was kind of the, the turning point in the fight. That omoplata right there. That, or that omoplata defense or lack thereof. Um, what could he have done? Even if a guy's grabbing my glove. I know I don't have a glove right now, but I want you to get a good grip on my wrist. So, guys, look. Um, when you guys get here, you stand up on an omoplata, even if my arm's over here. Hold that wrist really good. Try and get your legs really good. You can put some tension on it. Now watch what I'm gonna do. Go ahead, start to hurt me. I just wanna feel it, hurt me. Right there. Okay, now ready? Go ahead and hurt me. Hurt me, come on, come on. Hurt me, try to hurt my elbow, try to hurt my shoulder, try to hurt me. See that? Now now watch this, guys. I pull my arm right out. Now try to hold on my wrist as hard as you can. 
like with your grip. Yeah, just, yeah, really strong grip like that, real tight. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. Right now, I got a guy on my glove. Hey, ref, he's on his, my glove right now. He's grabbing my glove, look. Try to hurt me. He's grabbing my glove. Hey, ref, come on, man. You gonna do something with this boy right here? He's grabbing my glove. Pull out. <laughs> when, when Poirier was there, and he's literally just, you do it to me real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because look, guys, I'm gonna my plot to man myself. Okay, usually we put the wrist over here, but he had it like this. Okay, maybe even a little, a little hand on the glove. But go, go ahead and stand up. In this position, guys, like go where Poria was. He's like this, so look at his legs. His hand on the mat or whatever, maybe he was like messing with the foot when the foot came in front of the face. But look, I'm holding this ankle. Like, guys, he's not in that much danger. And with this leg not doing anything, all you have to do is just take that knee, Put it in the knee on belly position and just have balance so that I can't backward roll you. Just let me backward roll you. Okay. Don't let the guy backward roll you. Don't let the guy sweep you this way. You know, <laughs> yeah, you see, no, you're not gonna let me, right? No. Drive that knee and start the posture and just keep pulling out. I'm not trying to hurt your elbow. I'm trying to get your elbow. <laughs> Pull out, just toss her up. There it is. And then now well, watch your legs. Hide your, hide your legs, hide your wives, hide your husband too. Cause they will getting them too. <laughs> hey guys, hope you enjoyed. Listen, Poirier is a great fighter. All respect to Poirier, but that was the worst move of the fight. That was the move that turned the fight. Just thought you guys should know. We're out of time. I know Jesse, you gotta go. So tomorrow I hope to go over the finish in the fight and what Poirier could have done to try to avoid getting rear naked choked in the standing position. Tune in next time. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow with more great stuff.